<laughs> glory to God, glory to God. Derek, we have a praying for America and time spent with the word. Holy Spirit, what a joy, what a privilege, what an honor to pray for America. What a joy, what a privilege, what an honor to seek your face and spend time in the word corporately as fellow believers, oh God, who are standing in agreement right now as we pray for America and time spent with the word, Father God. We refuse to grow weary in doing well because we know, Father, in the name of Jesus, we shall reap a harvest if we faint not. And that harvest is the harvests of souls. And we give you praise because that is our ultimate assignment here on earth, not to gain popularity, but to bring souls into the kingdom. So thank you for the grace to do just that. In Jesus' name, amen. Zechariah chapter 4, starting at verse 1 and 2. The scripture says, Then the angel who had been talking with me returned and woke me as though I had been asleep. <laughs> what do you see now? He asked. I answered. I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl of oil on the top of it. Around the bowl are seven lambs, each having seven sprouts with wigs. It's time to put the oil in the lambs. It's time to get the, the wigs and to wind the wigs up. If any of you are used to or ever seen the old days lanterns that they use, they'll put the kerosene in there and it has a wick. Then it has a whiner or a button that turns where you have to turn up the wig so that the light can shine. America needs the light to shine. The church needs to put the oil inside of the lamp and the church needs to turn to loosen up and raise up the wig. And the church needs to light the wig. And because there is fuel in the lantern, the wick will burn hallelujah hallelujah and everyone will see the light and be drawn to the light it is the same zechariah 4 that the bible says he said unto zerubbabel the governor it is not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord it is the same zechariah that is now telling us to get the oil and the wig and now go ahead and turn it so that the and while you're turning it strike the match or the lighter light it up so that it can shine america is that beacon of hope the church is the light it is time that we shine this nation and pray over america every single day hallelujah be the change that we are praying for and how we are being the change that we are praying for is being consistent in believing in our faith that god is able to do anything and with him all things are possible our prayers are vital for america's survival it is as if the country is being suffocated by evil mm -hmm. yet the remnant are here the righteous are here the godly people are here and if we continue to join together unite in fervent prayer in shaking the face of god believing in faith that God is able, hallelujah, to show up and deliver this land and that we will see the glory of God because the days are evil. Things are not going to get better as so many have proclaimed. We are practically living in evil times. One thing that will stay firm, that is the Lord will preserve his people. He will keep his people. He will protect his precious godly people. 
the wicked keep getting wickeder and wickeder and wickeder and literally mocking God, putting statues up that are abominable acts against the Lord. They did it in Daniel days. Come on, Nebuchadnezzar put out a golden statue and he commanded that everyone who, when they hear the ram's horn, mm -hmm, they will bow their knees to the statue and begin to worship. And this was Babylonian system. And what did the people of God do? They opened up their windows when they heard the sound. They refused to bow to a statue, but they began to call on the name of the Lord, their God. It is time that the church in America began to call on the name of the Lord, our God. <laughs> Because we believe he is faithful. We believe he is able to do everything but fail. We believe that he has power and authority that he's transferred to us. We believe that America shall be saved. Why? Because we are praying. We believe that souls will be saved. There are grandmothers still to be saved. There are grandfathers, grandparents still to be saved. There are nieces and nephews that are still to be saved. There are friends and co-workers that are still to be saved. There are sons and daughters that are still to be saved. There are prodigal sons and daughters that need to come back to the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is why we can't give up on praying for this country. This is why we can't give up on praying for, hallelujah, the church. We cannot give up praying for families across this land because we believe in the power of prayer. And where there is a people to pray, there is a God to answer. We stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. And we burn up for the Lord. We keep oils in our land. We don't. We are not like the foolish virgins. We always take oil with us every single day <laughs> because any day now hallelujah the bridegroom can come knocking and asking hallelujah in the name of jesus on the doors of our hearts and see if it's ready for him to come in i'm reminded of psalm i think it's psalms 24 where he says lift up your head to your gates and be you lift up the everlasting doors that the king of glory will come in the question is asked who is the king of glory the lord god strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your head to your gates and be you lift up the everlasting doors that the king of glory will come in who is the king of glory the lord of hosts <laughs> the lord of hosts he is the king of glory Selah. it is time america that the church the true church begin to burn keep the oil going hallelujah keep enough wicks on hand hallelujah keep the light of my god on hand and still light up mm, and burn up hallelujah let the people begin to smell the aroma of holiness the aroma of perfection now yes i said it because jesus says be ye holy for i am holy be ye perfect for i am perfect <laughs> Let us keep that aroma running. Let us keep that aroma roaming and stop giving excuses and say, no one is perfect yet in our imperfection. In this flesh, we are not perfect. Oh my God, thank God for the cross of Jesus Christ that when he sees me, he sees the blood and through the blood, we are made perfect through the blood. I am made perfect through the blood. You are made perfect. It's time to get others, brothers and sisters in. Therefore, we have to stay burning. Hallelujah, go ahead and raise up the wick add more kerosene add more fuel add more oil and keep the lamb burning and no matter how hard they try to hide the oil from us god will give us his own oil to keep the lantern burning hallelujah glory to god well lord i thank you i praise you what a joy to just pray for america such an honor to pray for this country why because as it is said i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states and to the republic for which it stands why because it is one nation under god and the visible with liberty and justice for us why because in america in god we trust why because we believe that where there is a people to pray there is a god to answer so why? Because we believe that God would deliver his people as long as his people <laughs> remain faithful to the cost, faithful to the call, and faithful to the cause. My God, Holy Ghost, thank you. I praise you this day. I thank you. We thank you for America. We thank you for America. We thank you for America. What you've done before, do it again. You deliver your people from a wicked Pharaoh, do it again. You deliver your people from a wicked Abimelech, do it again. You delivered your people from a wicked Haman, do it again. 
You deliver your people from a wicked Sisera. Do it again. You delivered your people, O oh God, from Oyoromatiko Shokoramata Irebushkiri Biasata. You delivered your people from a wicked soul. Do it again. Oh my God. You delivered your people from a wicked Ahab. Do it again. You delivered your people from a wicked Jezebel. Do it again. Because it is the same spirit that is roaming the earth. Nothing's changed. Just the faces have changed. But the evil spirits remain the same. Help we, the church, to recognize things for what they are. And pray and pray and pray some more. We bless this land. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Stay armored up. Amen. Take care.